Okay, I'm John Weaver. I'm the uh, facility manager here, was uh, involved in the uh, initial vision and the design and construction of the facility and then, uh, then in operations once we were going. The Burke Center is designed based on a vision. Dick Schwartz and Jim Cooper put together a, uh, a vision of what they really wanted in terms of a research facility that was dedicated to collaborative work and uh, interdisciplinary work in both nanotechnology and microtechnology. We were able to design the building based on that vision rather than trying to fit something into an existing building. Uh, we involved faculty from a number of different departments who really looked at what their needs were, uh, looked at where their needs were going to be 10 years out in the future, were able to project some things there, and we were able to design the facility so that it would accommodate uh, that vision and the needs that they foresaw happening in the future. It, probably the most impressive of the laboratories uh, outside the clean room is the Hall Nanometrology Laboratory. Uh, in there, we uh, designed the room to control temperature, electromagnetic interference, and vibration. Uh, those three are very important factors. Um, vibration is very important because things moving around when you're working on very precise measurements at the nanoscale uh, will cause you problems. Temperature is important because uh, things change size as they change temperature, and electromagnetic interference is important because we move things around by electric and magnetic fields, uh, what we call nano tweezers, where we're actually moving individual atoms around. Uh, and if you have stray fields, that'll interfere with that. Uh, to conquer the vibration issues, uh, we used a 30 metric ton slab. It's about uh, eight feet by 12 feet by five feet thick. This floated on six air pillows. This damps out all of the vibration that we would have coming through in there. We meet a NIST A1 vibration rating, uh, which is the quietest in existence. Uh, for temperature control, uh, we have a totally separate air handling system that just works for that laboratory. Uh, that air handling system then feeds into a room that has two thicknesses of wall that are R45 insulation property, kind of like a commercial freezer, uh, and then a 12-inch air gap in between those walls. So that gives you extremely good insulation uh, with the control system, which is very carefully tuned in there. We're able to control temperatures to 0 0.01 degrees centigrade, so very, very precise temperature control. And finally, electromagnetic interference. Uh, we have four levels of metal uh, in the walls. We have metal in the floor, metal in the ceiling, uh, making a complete Faraday cage, which uh, prevents any uh, electromagnetic interference from getting into the room. Now we have some other specialized facilities. We have uh, uh, a transmission electron microscope uh, facility. Uh, we had to control acoustic noise in there as well as temperature. Uh, and electromagnetic interference. Uh, temperature and EMI, not as much, but the acoustic was something that was very important in there. So we used a cork floor. We have uh, uh, curtains hanging around that are uh, sound absorbing curtains, and that keeps it very, very quiet in that room. We channeled the airflow so there's no temperature differential across the column of the microscope. Very, very nicely tailored for that particular instrument.